There's no other country in the world as diverse and as multicultural as Canada. There is no other country in the world that welcomes diversity like we do. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. I cried when I received the email. I was so happy because I, I worked so hard. You know, I've made a name for myself as a vocal coach and also as a singer in Calgary. There's lots of opportunities here to start your own business. I came to Canada in 2003 as a refugee. Everybody helps you to be yourself, to improve your culture, your background, your language, whatever. It doesn't matter whatever background, ethnic, nationality you are, you can be yourself. Saving the future generation from all, all environmental problems we might have it in future is my main passion, my main goal. I came from Somalia in 1990. I became um, uh, a Canadian very quickly, got used to the customs and the system. Uh, we teach kids on how they can belong to Canada and they don't feel a sense of um, disattachment. So we teach them um, that this is your country, uh, you have to be a good citizen, you have to follow the law, you have to contribute to this country, and at the same time you can keep your culture, you can keep your religion, and you can keep your customs. Canada is a beautiful country. We have adopted it. Canada did not come to my house in India and say, you know what, Aditya Mohan, we want you in our country. Come over. I came here. It's, I adopted this country as my country. So it's my duty to make sure my country is neat and clean. And whatever I'm doing, I think every uh, immigrant who comes here must do that, must give back to the community to make sure the image of your own community is clean is good and you are being respected here. I came here in 1956, which is to not to, to, to think it wasn't like that. Because you take time, eh? the thing don't, don't, don't come overnight, you see. But the most important, you, you, you mentally have to believe it. I just want to thank the Royal Bank and um, the Canadian Immigrant Magazine for putting on these awards and for sponsoring these awards. But it doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you have mental health issues. In Canada, you are welcome, you are supported. I think this country provided me with the opportunity to be myself, be free, be happy, and be proud of who I am. You know, people should accept diversity. They should welcome diversity. It even makes sense for corporations to, to embrace diversity because their clients come from all over the world. So, you know, it's, it's good business sense and it's good social sense. It's common sense. Eight years ago, I started the magazine. 2007, we launched the Toronto edition. We all have the same challenges. Doesn't make a difference. Skin color, education. We all go through the problems, all the barriers that exist. Every immigrant has got a dream. Dreams for themselves, dreams for their kids, family. And sometimes what happens is in that journey, uh, they forget those dreams. My job is to catch immigrants and reignite that flame, that dream inside of them. 60% of your chances of success are inside you, not outside. Immigrants need to understand the importance of language. And by language, I don't mean ESL, I don't mean basic English language. I mean advanced language skills, I mean business language. The ability to write emails, to have the conversations, to be able to make presentations. This is the kind of English that Canadian employers are looking for. Believe in yourself and the belief in your country. And also, what, uh, not sure you got to work hard for that. Eh? You just keep going for what you believe in and keep your faith, keep your spirits up. And embrace Canada and embrace the good things that you like about Canada. And I love this country. I love this country. And I think that's one of the biggest steps that immigrants can take. Fall in love with this country and this country will love you back. Thank you.